Hey, hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a simple dialogue system for NPCs that you can make. Uh, it is recommended that you at least know the basics because it may get confusing when we get into the script itself. Uh, however, if you still continue and you get lost, confused, or have an issue, uh, I will leave this base plate down in the description and my Discord. You can join the Discord and ask for help in the in the Discord in the help section and me or someone else will attempt to s solve the issue that you have so basically it's a simple you see you get the text the name of the npc the te and then the what he says and then the close button same here npc text and then a further button so you can see the second option of dialogue and if you want a third option or more i'm gonna get into that but as you can see this one has a third option and so at first, you want to make sure the dummies that you use are all, all have their own unique name. I call them NPC 1, 2, and 3 to make it simple. And inside, I put a click detector. That's all you need to put inside of them. And then you're done with the dummy. Then you're going to go to solder GUI, insert a screen GUI, a frame. And inside of the frame, you're going to add a text button called close and a text button called next. Then you add two text labels, one called NPC name. That's the na that's where the name of the NPC is going to go. And then NPC text. This is the text box where all the text can go. And that's it. Make sure that the screen GUI is disabled to, to begin with. So click on it in properties and make sure it is disabled. So let's get into the script. You insert, of course, a local script inside of the screen GUI. So we start off with listing all the NPCs that we have. We have NPC 1, 2, and 3. We list them off, game the workspace of NPC 1, and we do that the same. Then we're going to give text to each NPC. So NPC 1 says, I am NPC 1. NPC, uh, NPC 2 says, I am NPC 2. Then we add something, then we add the same dialog, but we call it NPC2 text 2 to show like, okay, this is the second line of dialog that comes. And then NPC3 has three lines of dialog, so we call text 2 a text, text 2, text 3. That's how we, how I did the ways of sorting the text. If you don't like the names, change them. That's why I warn you, it will get confusing because I but this name's quite similar. But so uh, we're gonna start off, as you can see, I put some helplines. Uh, I explained here, you only put the li uh, line, you only put these values for any NPCs that have more than two lines. So NPC three, I mentioned it here. I put it as false and false. We're gonna get into that later. But if you have, let's say, an NPC called John or something, you put the uh, John and then make sure it is not the same as this though. It should be unique, but it should match like this text matches uh, this and this matches this. So it is quite a bit confusing, but you get me. Uh, so then we list another time the NPCs, but we li list cooldowns of the NPCs so we can know if the NPC is talking or not. And we list off the GUI, game.plays.localplayer.playGUI.npc. That's what we call the screen GUI. And then next, that's the next button inside of the frame. And close, that's the close button inside of the frame. Uh, we make sure next is invisible because like NPC1 does, not, does only have one line of dialogue. So he doesn't need a next button. So we keep it invisible for now. Uh, we mention the close button. So when you click on the close button, all the cooldowns get reset back to false because the dialogue is closed. So it, the next is back to invisible. And then if you have more NPCs, let's say, then you for each NPC over here, like NPC1, I add an NPC1 over here. Make sure the names are different. So if you add NPC4 here, you add an NPC4 over here. And you make sure that these cooldowns are mentioned over here. So if because we're gonna turn them on later, and when the dialogue go when the dialogue closes, 
we don't need them to be on so they turn off so anything you put here and here must go here and that's just for the close script and now we're going to go over the next script so we know we can switch between the dialogue so uh, we're going to start with uh, when you click on the next button then you, we, we are going to check if mpc2 is true and uh, if it is true then uh, it will play it will change the text to the text that you set over here and it will put this back at false and then it will turn the marker the next button invisible because you're in the second line of dialogue so uh, let me explain the if mpc2 equals true a, a statement at the bottom you can see we have each option of the mpc when you click on mpc1 the gui opens mpc1 goes through goes to true and then the GUI text get ad gets adjusted to the text of MPC1 and then the name to MPC name. Same thing for these two. You can see MPC3 goes on, year same, and year same. Make sure it only mentions the first line of dialogue. That's because we're going to go into the multiple lines of dialogue in the next script portion of this uh, video. So you have these. I will leave the script in the description below also so you can copy and paste it easily. But uh, this is where the main stuff happens for the NPCs with multiple dialogue options. So if NPC2 equals true, as you can see, if the player clicks on NPC2, then this statement gets set to uh, uh, gets set to true. If it is set to that, the visible button, the next button will turn visible, and then. When you click on that button, this script plays off. And so in this script, it detects on which MPC the script should you, uh, the dialogue should be adjusted to. So if MPC2 equals true, then it will change the text to the second line of dialogue for MPC2. And then it will turn back to false because this dialogue has already been played. And then the button will turn invisible because there's no dialogue option. But let's say you click on MPC3. So it will check if MPC3 is enabled, which if it, if it is true, and if the player has clicked on it, it will go to through, and then it will uh, play this line off, and then it will check if the this uh, MPC3 next, that is the statement we put over here it will check if this is false we added this to uh, uh, make sure everything is sorted properly with all these multiple dialogues if you have a fourth dialogue like i said before add npc3 next three equals false just add if you have how many dialogue lines you have you have to add a line line after line as a cooldown to show like okay this line has played this line hasn't been played and so if this equals false that means that the line the next line hasn't been played so uh they uh because the next line hasn't been played they go like okay so that means he clicked on it so that means the next line should be played now because it hasn't been played before so it will change the text to the second line dialogue option over here but let's say and then it will turn of course true because it is selected but let's say what if you have this on and you want to go to the next dialogue option over here so then we go else and then if this equals through true because we just put it at true it, it goes like okay so this the second line is now activated so it and the player has just pressed the next button then we'll change the text to the third dialogue option and then we'll, we'll set this to true because it is now played this back to false because it is no longer being played and this to invisible because there's no more options if you have a fourth option all you have to do is basically copy this line you can see what i did here you copy this and you see how i checked if this line uh, you, yeah, you basically you copy if you have another 
if you have a fourth line you copy this and then you exchange what is here to the one that just turned through that's this one so this this one gets exchanged for this and then you basically copy the same thing over and over that is basically it now if you run into any issues please join the discord or open the base play to see what you did wrong uh, if you do type in the comment section about your issues i cannot reply to everyone i and it is more difficult to solve something without pictures so do keep in mind joining the discord will have you have your issue been helped with faster and so that's it yeah thank you for watching